we found a great solution to be able to store a lot of water in a small space. Hi, I'm Jonathan, the Provident Prepper. Water is one of my biggest concerns, the ability for you to be able to store enough water to get you through an emergency. That's why when Austin from Water Prepared contacted us about his water storage system, it got me excited. This water storage system allows you to store a lot of water in a small space. You can see here we have 320 gallons in this small space that normally would have only been able to take maybe one or two 55 gallon barrels. So this represents an option that allows you to store a lot of water. Before installing these water tanks, we had a rack system that would allow us to store 165 gallons, which is great. I mean, that's a lot of water. However, when we found this system, we can now store 320 gallons instead of 165 gallons. So almost twice as much water can be stored in the same spot. If you've listened to us, you know that we want you to have at least two gallons per person per day for at least two weeks for your emergency water storage. In this case, this would do our little family of three for 50 days. And if Kenny and Christy come home, we're still good for at least 30 days. rinsing the sides of the barrel and getting some water down in there just to make sure that any possible um, remnants left over from the manufacturing process are rinsed out and make sure that this tank is really clean to begin with. I like the valves on these tanks. They are quarter turn valves, which means you just have to turn it a quarter of a turn to get full stream. And on this initial cleaning, we're actually tilting this barrel forward so that we make sure that we really get all the water out of the contaminants, whatever could be down there. And both John and Ben are arguing with me about this process because they think that the barrels are plenty clean and we don't need to do this. But they're just doing this to make Mama happy. When you are filling your water tanks, regardless of which tank you're using, you want to make sure you're using an RV hose. These are specially made to be clean hoses so that your water comes in clean. There's nothing that gets picked up along the way through the hose that will contaminate your water. These water tanks came with H2O Rescue, which is a copper and silver ion uh, solution that is intended to prevent any biofilms from accumulating. So we're just going to put three of these vials in. Each of these vials treats 55 gallons of water. And with that in there, we'll go ahead and close this barrel. Just going to wipe this all down and we'll be ready to stack the second barrel on this barrel. So these tanks come with a really nice cap that just spins off. And in the middle here is a pressure relief so that if you start pulling water out of this and forget to open the cap, it'll pull this down and draw in air so that you don't collapse the tank. So that's a pretty nice feature. On these barrels are these locking tabs. So when we set this barrel on top of the first barrel, these will lock in to keep it stable and supported. Okay, and with that locked in there, we're ready to fill the top barrel, and that will complete our project. When you rotate this water, or when you're using it, start with the top tank, get it empty, and then utilize the bottom tank. I like the fact that the tanks are very stable. You can stack two of these on top of each other without any real issues at all. Because we live in earthquake country and because I'm an engineer, 
I like to make sure things are stable. I put the plumber's tape on here just to make sure that they won't dance if we have an earthquake. Another thing that I really like about these tanks is this nice large cap on top. And I like the fact that he has built in the pressure relief valve right here. So when you're pulling that water down, it's allowing air to come in. I know from experience, and as an engineer, I should have known better, but we picked up a used tote and I filled that with water and then decided I wanted to drain it one day. So I just opened the valve and I folded that thing right in half. Totally ruined it. This allows you to drain this water out without any issues. In addition, I really appreciate the fact that Water Prepared only uses FDA compliant materials. They're BPA free and the spigots do not contain any lead. This gives me a comfort knowing that this water is clean and safe for my family. For our needs, the 260 gallon tanks is perfect. If you don't have quite as big a space or if you just don't need that much storage, it's also available in the 55 gallon tank. As is the case with any system, there are a couple of things that you need to be aware of. First, these tanks are very heavy. Each one of these tanks weighs about 1,400 pounds, so this is about 2,800 pounds of weight. I'm comfortable with that on a concrete floor. I would not be comfortable with that on a framed floor unless you have beefed that up. Another thing to consider is the cost of your storage. If you go buy a 55 gallon drum, you're probably going to pay about a dollar a gallon for that storage. With this system, it's about $3 a gallon. However, that comes with some serious advantages of being able to store a lot of water in a small space, easy access for your use and rotation. So if you can afford this system, it's a great way to go. But the most important thing is that you get your water storage. However you need to do that, just get it done. Personally, I am thrilled to have these water prepared tanks here because we had a system here before that was nice, but this has doubled our storage capacity without taking up any additional room. It's also made it easier for me to be able to access this and to rotate the water. So I personally am thrilled. If this is something that fits into your budget and that you are interested in, we will leave a link in the description of this video to take you to water prepared. And now for the question of the day. What is your favorite water storage system? Comment below. And thanks for being part of the solution.